true, true hip hop. What it was to be who they wanted to be. They wanted to speak what they wanted to speak. And they wanted everybody to know this is what it is now. Live for it now and then entertain everybody later on so it'll just progress and progress and progress. We all about evolution. We don't devolve. If you devolve, then you head in the wrong path. You gotta evolve. That's the whole part of life. There's no such thing as devolve. Devolve and then you end up in prison if you devolve. Because you're not exactly. Because you're not using your third eye. Your brain. Your brain is what keeps you going. You just gotta focus. Like right now I'm in my prime. I'm still still not sure if I'm gonna go back to school and take this 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 course or am I gonna go to this school and take this one. But you know what? I'm gonna just follow my path. You know, I, 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 I'm glad I wake up every day, I'm able to breathe, I see my daughter, you know, be able to call down here, what's going on, let's do this, you know, let's practice on this routine, what you got going on in New York, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I stay in touch with Bam, I stay in touch with Lucky Strike, I stay in touch with Yoda, I stay in touch with all these people, because those are the people that gave me the knowledge that I have, so what I'm doing now is passing that to Mr. Dan, Mr. Leo, you know, in the food yard. You know what I'm saying? Because when Bam brought me out here, he already knew what, where he wanted me to be at. He already knew what I was on top of my game. You know, I teach, I don't just teach hip hop, I am hip hop. I'm a, I'm a product of it. You know what I'm saying? I see exactly. I bleed, I bleed B-boys. I don't bleed blood. Okay, I bleed music. I, I, I go to bed listening to my iPod. I'm on top of the music, but I never forget where I came from either. I may not be that million dollars. Even if I had a million dollars, it would, I wouldn't be flashing it like that. You ain't gonna see me pimping out in no BMW or X500. You won't see me doing that. You'll be seeing me chilling in my little hoop, dude. You know, and, 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 and showing people that, you know what? You can still live good, but be positive about it. KRS One, he is one of the most humblest MCs I've ever met today, and he's still doing his thing. He's still making music. He's still doing the positive things, and he's also entertaining everybody. He goes to, I remember, I met him in 1996 when he came to my high school. He took a dollar bill and put sunglasses on George Washington. I didn't understand the meaning of that. As I got older, I understood. I understood what it meant. You know what I'm saying? And then he says, I am hip hop, live, breathe, live, breathe, and eat it. If not, then you won't eat it. Because you can't understand it. You know what I'm saying? So now, what my goal is, each one teach one. That's one of my things I learned part of this illumination before I branched out and now I'm doing my own thing. Whatever I learned, now I'm teaching it for that student or students to go and teach another. Because in the long run, someone's gonna be like, yo, who taught you that? How'd you learn that? It's gonna go back. It's, it's, it's like the roots of a tree. No matter how long and how far they go, they always end up coming home. You know what I'm saying? It always branches off the what is gonna come from a main source and the knowledge. The, the, the brain is the knowledge. Okay, without the brain, you won't function. But you have to understand it first. You know what I mean? So I try to tell people, Understand hip hop before you start talking about it. Don't pretend to know about it because one of these days somebody's gonna come and know more than you and they're gonna shut you down. And if they do that, you're gonna feel embarrassed and you're gonna walk around with your head down saying, oh damn. And it's happened, it happened to me because I thought I was, but no, I got school. Bam took me aside, Yoda took me aside. They, they, they stripped me pretty much like a drill sergeant. They stripped me down. They took everything that I thought I knew and rebuilt me to what I am. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a little bit it's a little bit of that, a little bit of of, of your initiative. You have to have that 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 oomph to go. Like Mr. Marco, he'll be here dead tired, and he's still like a machine, and he's still going down too. He'll go hours without eating. He won't eat till tomorrow. If, the, if, if he ain't done what he's done, you know what I'm saying? And that right there just, you know, when he told me that, I'm just like, you know what? It's time to, it's time to get my groove on. You know what I'm saying? I may not be the best b-boy in the world, but it's not about being the best at what you do. It's being the best about the best of everything. 
giving a little piece of that, taking a little piece of that, and putting it together to make something new to evolve onto the next level. A martial artist, a real martial artist, will never stay in the same level. Look at Bruce Lee. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that dude was amazing. You know, his his knowledge beyond knowledge. I read his books every day. I gave um, Bam a book that I have bought for him about Bruce Lee. And I bought the same book because it inspired me. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to let you guys know that where I come from and where I'm going is unbeatable. You know, if you live in yourself on how far you want to go, you never, you never get to where you need to be. Because you live in yourself. Oh, I want to be here. No, no, no. I'm infinity. I'm never going to stop. Until I'm six feet in, I'm never going to stop. And even in my grade, I'm still going. Why? Because of that. You know what I'm saying? So, bam, I appreciate everything you did for tonight. That's all I got to say. Hola. I mean, I know, once again, we talked about Bruce Lee.